the expense of others, positive versus poor leadership, had an MBA student recently share an interaction about a workplace experience and got me thinking about uh, the saying of, if I can do it, anybody can do it. This was something that was said about this particular student. Um, if I can do it, you can do it, can be devastating when used the wrong way. If I can do it, you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. But what happens when a leader says, if Terry can do it, anybody can do it, or anyone can do it. This is the part where, you know, the implications come into play. What was the intent of the leader? Does it imply that Terry is not smart? Does it imply that the group is not smart? You know, it all depends on what the intent was. Was it an effort to encourage the group by demeaning one person? Or is it something personal, bullying, insulting, dementing, demeaning, belittling, disparaging, degrading, or a bunch of other words we could use in a negative context? You know, it just all depends on what the intent was. But leaders must remember that, to use the cliche, words can be hurtful. Uh, they must, you know, remember that they can discriminate, humiliate, cause depression, uh, create negative work environments, create animosity, create negative perceptions, and cannot be taken back. Uh, once that seed is planted, um, it's there. And that's one of the things that, you know, can't be corrected. Uh, regardless of a leader's negative actions, it cannot be allowed to distract or discourage from individual goals. Sometimes we have to be our own cheerleader, stay focused, stay positive, ignore the naysayers, ignore the obstacles, and never quit. That's the important thing. Don't let those negatives stop you 